ground zero for COVID-19, a meat market, a slaughterhouse in Wuhan, China. The bird flu, the swine flu, mad cow disease, MERS, the Spanish flu. All of these viruses and many others came into existence because humans choose to enslave animals and view them as commodities. We choose to artificially inseminate them so we can steal their babies. And then we chop off all their heads and cut them up into hundreds of pieces so we can eat flesh. Did people really believe that there'd be no consequences for this type of behavior? It would have been so nice if we could have overreacted on behalf of those victims by shutting down the meat, dairy, and egg industries once and for all. We could have forced restaurants around the world to switch over to plant-based foods. Why didn't we overreact in a positive and meaningful way on behalf of the environment, the earth victim? We could have banned plastic and styrofoam, forcing those restaurants to only use biodegradable containers. Instead, we decided to force restaurants to close their dining areas and do carryouts only, thus using more plastic and more styrofoam and filling up those containers with even more meat, cheese, milk, and eggs. Why didn't we overreact on behalf of heart disease and cancer victims? 30% of humans get cancer, 50% have a heart attack or a stroke. The main causes are meat, cheese, milk, and eggs along with chemicals and cigarettes. Why didn't we overreact in a positive way and ban those items? Even before COVID-19 came into existence, restaurants had a sign in the restroom stating that employees had to wash their hands after going to the bathroom. We actually need to be told to wash our hands and wash them thoroughly and properly. We have to be told to cover our mouth when we cough or our nose when we sneeze so somebody else doesn't have to inhale our snot particles. It is time to wake up and truly make a difference. Focus on the root of the problem. Diseases, the destruction of the earth, all of this stems from our addiction to meat, the world's oldest and strongest addiction. Stand up, become vegan, live that vegan lifestyle, and truly make a difference.